they don't eat properly. They do poorly in school. Victims are not drinking or using drugs. They're addicted to playing video games. For the first time, there's a name for this. It's called gaming disorder. And as Eight on Your Side's Peter Bernard explains, it's a serious problem across the country and right here in the Bay Area. Clearwater Insurance Executive Niall Madley. They're fun, they're awesome, and you're not hurting anybody. Enjoys spending free time playing video games. He's been at it since he was a little kid. Working full time limits when he can play. I know a lot of people who play way too much all day, every day, whenever they can. I guess you could say I have the symptoms of the addiction, but I don't have the full on addiction. Hannah Lemire is also a lifelong gamer. Her entire family enjoys playing. I pretty much have been playing since I could hold a controller in my hand. Hannah and Niall are part of a generation where, at least for some, video games have replaced playing in the park, riding a bike, or going to the beach. The World Health Organization recognizes it as gaming disorder. Yes, it's a real thing. USF professor Dr. Christopher Kalibi sees it in his young patients all the time. The gaming is a thing that has affected society with a lot of ripples in it. And, uh, you know, I think many of them are, are negative. They are addicted to the games. Colleen Cajano's five grandchildren. That's right, she has five grandchildren who would rather play video games than jump rope or play hide and seek. The minute I walk into the house, Nana, can I see your phone? Nana, can I see your iPad? And and it's not, hi, Nana, we love you. Of course, I know they love yeah, me, yeah. but that's not the point. Gone are the days she remembers when her grandkids would actually interact with the family. From the minute you they get home from school, they're on the devices. The hazards of gaming addiction include people who play all day and don't even try to find a job. Who have dropped out of college, who have dropped out of school, who hardly leave their house, who don't have friend networks. Serious video game addicts can seek treatment, but they must be motivated. Those who are in treatment and want to change could have a, you know, can have a good success rate. Video game makers are clever at luring you in and making it hard to quit, like smoking or drinking. They're designed to keep you coming back for small things over and over and over again. And I think those are the ones that really rope you in to doing it, and then they purposely slow the game down. It's not all doom and gloom. There are plenty of players that know when to stop. Gaming can be a really great thing. It can do a lot of great things, but we need to use it as a tool for such. Then there are gaming addicts who let their life suffer for the gaming habit. There's a good correlation with the more games, the worse grades. Parents worried about their kids being addicted to video games should encourage them getting out and exercising, getting outdoors, and limit game time. Catching it early can prevent problems later on in life. In Tampa, Peter Bernard, News Channel 8.